Tiffany Schlein, the director of a remarkable new movie that's out tomorrow in the Bay Area, Connected, an autobiography <laughs> about love, death, and technology. Tiffany, welcome to TechCrunch TV. Nice to be here. So before we get to the movie, Tiffany, autobiography, <laughs> what does that mean? Well, we made up that word. Um, because the film has an autobiographical component. It, it looks at what does it mean to be connected in the 21st century, both globally and personally. So I wanted to make sure that people knew it had an autobiographical element. I also wanted them to know it had humor in it, hence the made-up silly word. And it's also a bit of a nod to these days that we live in where everyone on Facebook and Twitter is posting pretty much an autobiography. They're learning how to share parts of themselves. Uh, online. So this film was also me, about me sharing parts of myself um, in the film and online. So it's kind of all of those things in one. I watched the movie yesterday and I found it very compelling. I think all our audience needs to see it. And I couldn't work out whether it was a celebration or a wake, hmm. or perhaps both, about our connected world. I love the way you just put that. I think it's both. I think... Um, I, I think I both marvel and I'm incredibly excited about the potential of all of this technology and how connected we are. And so on that level, I'm so excited to be alive when seven billion minds on the planet are going to be connected. And personally, I really wrestle with how much technology has taken over every waking moment of my life. So this film is both. It, it's really me wrestling with what it means how we can harness it for good, how, can we, how we cannot make it invade every aspect of our personal life. Uh, my family and I recently started turning off technology one day a week, every week, and it's changed. It's been very profound. So I think, I, you know, obviously, I, from back in the day of founding the Webby Awards, I, I'm a big proponent of everything that we can do with technology, but I think we need to have a conversation about what it all means, and that's what we're hoping to do with the film. I got the sense in the film that it's a warning because you spend a lot of time discussing the impact of industrial technology on society and on civilization. And mm -hmm. I think um, some of your conclusions are very pessimistic. Mm -hmm. What should we learn about the industrial experience in the digital experience? What does the film say? Oh, that's a great question. Um, I think we're moving so quickly. And all of these technologies are speeding up even our perception of time that we are not taking a moment to talk about the long-term ramifications and, and implications and ripple effects of all of these technologies. So it's interesting when you say that it feels pessimistic because some people say it seems very optimistic. So it's becoming really interesting on what people take away from it to me. But I ultimately believe that, that humans are very curious, and we, we need to connect. So those two things make me hopeful about all of these new technologies. So if we look to the past, um, I do believe that we have, you know, we did learn, I do believe from like even the atomic bomb, like if we say that all of the modern technology and weaponry led to that moment, I do believe that we have evolved to understand, okay, wait, we do not want to be using that anywhere. Um, so I, and, I feel like you only have to look to the civil rights movement, anti-slavery, women's rights movement, to know that we have moved forward. So I think we are evolving, and I think all of these technologies, they're just extensions of us. So any technology we could talk about, could, we could say something good about it, and we could say something really bad about it. Something bad it does, and something good it does. So since all of these technologies are just extensions of us, if we can be more mindful and have these kind of conversations, that we will be more mindful with the way that we use them, thinking about the long-term effects. I guess without wishing to give away the story, although it doesn't really have a story in the movie, it's, it's more of a, a, a series of images, uh, but the, the narrative revolves around two things, a birth and a death, and I guess that reflects the complexity in the movie. It's both about hope and about uh, mourning. Is that fair? That's a, yes, yes, that's a, I really like the way you're phrasing the core of it, because you're right. And I could, you could say that on a personal level and a global level. And it's, of course, a very personal film. It's it not is. just about 
global events. It's about uh, events in your own family, your father, your children. Yeah, I mean, it was interesting. I actually made the film and did a whole 80-minute cut of the film with my team, and there was no personal part in the movie. And actually, this is like my eighth or ninth film, and I've never done a personal film. But I was watching it, and I remember that the exact moment watching it, thinking that it, it required me. Like, here I was talking about connectedness, and I wasn't connected in any way to the movie. And I wasn't exploring emotional connectedness, which is so important. I mean, all these technologies are about connecting. Texting, emailing, tweeting, they're all about connecting with people you love or people you don't know. Or So I remember the moment when I realized I had to, the film required, you know, you have to feel in order to be open to understanding ideas. And so it was really kind of the hardest thing I've ever done, was to put my own personal story about birth and death and life into it but it felt like it needed it. And, and I think it made it, it's making a lot more people connect to it. There's a moment in the movie where you suggest that the internet is the solution. I can't mm. remember the exact words, but uh, I think somebody says it can get us to the next stage. What do you mean by that? Well, I think that, you know, it's been proven throughout history when well, they've gone back to civilization and looked at cities and that more innovation happens when in cities because more different perspectives are bumping up against each other. So Matt Ridley wrote a great book about this. So if you think about what's the new framework for all these different perspectives to be bumping up against each other on a global scale, it's the internet. So we have so many problems today and we have so many people. So like, how do you turn that around? Well, if you think, and I do think in our lifetime, we will see everyone connected. These cell phones are, you know, the $100 computer, much less even. So I think the idea of bringing all these different perspectives from all over the world to gather around the problems, innovation is going to happen like we've never seen. And of course, it's, it's just still being stitched together where we're getting everyone online. But I think more tools for collaboration, more tools to gather around problems, we're gonna, I think that's going to be, that's a really exciting period right now is, I mean, I make films so differently now than I, I mean, I'm collaborating online with like four different people on a script and we're writing in real time together. It's, you know, and so anyways, the collaborative tools I think are the next wave um, that we're going to see. So that's what I mean. That's where I get hopeful. Um, and yeah. So do you hope that people will leave the movie hopeful or sad or both? <laughs> I hope they leave the movie. I hope they, you know, they've laughed, and a lot of them maybe have will cry. Um, I hope they'll think, and I hope they'll have a great discussion afterwards. I, I really believe when you have a conversation after a movie or something that's moved you, there's a lot of ripple effects that happen in the way that you live. I mean, I know that personally. As I think it's one of the reasons I wanted to be a filmmaker. Um, so I hope that people will feel all of those things that you just said and kind of take it into their own life. And we've created this whole discussion kit that goes with the movie that has conversation cards and a book. And This is it, right? Yeah, this is the discussion kit. Discussion kit. So our whole concept is that a movie is the appetizer and the main course is the discussion that you have afterwards with your friends and family or whoever you saw the movie with. So um, we have a curriculum for educators. So we really want people to go do deep dive on what does connectedness mean for them. So. I do think it's interesting, depending on where you're coming from, what age you are, where you are in your life, you're going to take away different things from this film. But um, it really is an entertaining, but it has some, you know, life stuff, life and death stuff um, about connectedness in the 21st century, which I think everybody is ready to talk about. How is this technology totally changing the way I do everything? And, and what does that mean, and what's good, and what's bad, and what do I want to leave, maybe not do? Very briefly, Tiffany, uh, how is this movie going to change your life? Because you really are putting yourself out there. It's an intensely personal movie, and yeah. tomorrow tens of thousands of people are going to know a very different Tiffany Schlein. You're, you're well known already as the founder of The Web Is and lots of other things, but now you're, you're putting yourself on the line. Are you fearful at all? Um, you know, I was scared before we premiered at Sundance earlier this year, but the, the cool thing was is that my guiding principle in this film was that if I spoke my truth, I would speak to some universal truth. And 
what I found, because we played at Sundance, we've played at a fair number of festivals, and we're having, you know, we've been having preview screenings, is I feel so connected to people after they see the film. I mean, it's this amazing thing I've never experienced before. I'm in a room with like a thousand people, and this amazing sense of connection, because everyone has gone through having someone die. Everybody is a child. Everyone, a lot of people are parents. Everybody goes through these things. So I kind of think that if I, you know, had to give this part of myself, but in order to make people feel and experience this film on a much deeper and global level, it was totally worth it. So yes, it's a little scary, but I think after I've experienced all these screenings, I'm, it's more exciting to see where this takes people and where the film will go. Well, it's a must-see film, Connected, starting tomorrow. Tiffany Schleng, thank you so much for appearing uh, on TechCrunch thank TV. Thank you for those great questions.